Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to our redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys what I think is the best redstone elevator ever. So there's a glitch in 1.9 where if you're inside a piston head when it retracts, it will actually teleport you behind this. So if you were to place a piston facing downwards, uh, you will actually get teleported to the top of it. Now I'm not sure who discovered the bug first, I actually came across it myself as well, but I'm going to link below a reddit post I saw using a similar design, but instead uses tripwire hooks. Now this is really survival friendly, so you'll easily be able to build it, but now I'm going to show you guys this in action, so we're going to stand in this little chute here, we're going to press this button here, and we're going to get elevated up to the second level here, how awesome is that? Now, we're going to go ahead and stand on here again, press the button, we're now on the third floor. Now this elevator is modular and what I mean by that is you'll be able to stack them on top of each other to suit any height building. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can build this. So the materials you're going to need to build one of these modules is one redstone dust, one redstone repeater, one normal piston, one sticky piston, one button of your choice, and then 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that you'll want to do is decide where elevator is going to go and this is where if you press the button you would go up. So I'm going to put mine here and from this position what we want to do is create three high pillars to the left and the right of it. At the top of these blocks here we're going to place a sticky piston, or not a sticky piston, the regular piston facing downwards. Then come back to your spot here and we're going to walk two blocks forward then create a two high pillar, then place your button on the front of the top block. To the left of this pillar here, we're going to place a block and then your sticky piston facing upwards and then a block on top of that. Come down to the bottom and break this block and I'll get to the reasons why we are doing that later on. Then come in front of the piston here, create a two high pillar, get your redstone repeater and place it coming out of this block here towards into or into this block here then place your redstone dust on top of the block the button is on. Now we can go ahead and cover this up just to make it look a little bit more nice. So what I like to do is place a block there so you can't walk in front of the button and then you can also create a two high pillar here and then what you want to do is instead of placing a full block here because if you do it will actually power it from this redstone is you just want to create like a half slab or something, something that's not a full block. So let's just do ahead, go ahead and do that right now. So a crafting table and let's create just a half slab and then what we're going to do is put that on the top of the button here or we'll place it like that and then now this redstone here won't power that piston and as you can see from the inside here it looks really nice so if we go ahead and press the button we will get elevated to the top. Now I'm going to build this one more time so I can show you guys how to stack one on top so let's go ahead and let's go to the top here. Now I'm in creative mode because I've already shown you how easy it is to build it in survival. So what we're going to do is exactly the same process. So imagine this is your spot here. We're going to create three high pillars to the left and the right. Then at the top of these middle ones here, place your normal piston facing downwards. We're going to place a two high pillar on top of this redstone here. Button on the front. We're going to create a two high pillar on top of this redstone repeater, so make sure you're crouching, then place two blocks like that. Then here, what you want to do is make sure you leave a space, and the reason for this is because this piston here is actually pushing upwards, so if we had a block here and we had our piston there, it's going to push that piston up, so make sure you leave a gap in between the bottom of this piston here and this block. Then place a block on top of that sticky piston, redstone repeater coming out of this block here going into that front one and then your redstone on top of the block the button is on so if we test that out right now we'll go up to the second level or the yeah the second level then the third level then again you can go ahead and cover it up so all you need to do is place a block under the button there a block to the right of that button and then a, uh, a non full block above the button so that redstone there doesn't power the piston now that's pretty much it, you can leave now, but if you want to stay, I'm going to explain how this actually works. So what this is using is a glitch in 1.9, and it's basically when you're inside of a piston head, and then when it retracts, it will actually teleport you to the top 
of the piston. It's really strange, but it's a really cool glitch. So what we're doing here, when we press the button, we're sending out a signal into this redstone here, which then here we actually have a monostable circuit. And what that means is it sends out a really quick pulse. So you can imagine I press this button here, this piston here is just going to go down and up really quick. And that allows us to travel up the floors really quickly. And then, yeah, this repeater simply captures the signal that gets sent into this block here. And then that powers the uh, piston. So we'll just go ahead and we'll hold right click right now. We get teleported up to the third level really quickly. Now, it makes me a little sad because this one uses next to no resources compared to the one I just recently built. But this might potentially be fixed in the future, so make sure you use it while you can. So that is going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my new tutorials. And I will see you guys later. Bye!